Hello, thank you for joining. My name is Jesse Snow, and this is Daily Bread. Today we'll be starting a reading in Genesis chapter 15. I'll also be sharing some notes here on the screen. But before we get started, let's go ahead and open a word in prayer. Our Father who is in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, and your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us of our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever. Amen. So Genesis 15. After these things, the word of the Lord came to Abram in a vision, saying, Do not be afraid, Abram. I am your shield, your exceedingly great reward. And then Abram said, Lord God, what will you give me, seeing I go childless, and the heir of my house is Eliezer of Damascus? Then Abram said, Look, you have given me no offspring. Indeed, one bore in my house is my heir. And behold, the word of the Lord came to him, saying, this one shall not be your heir, but one who will come from your own body shall be your heir. Then he brought him outside and said, Look now toward heaven, and count the stars, if you are able to number them. And he said to him, So shall your descendants be. And he believed in the Lord, and he accounted it to him for righteousness. Then he said to him, I am the Lord who brought you out of Ur of the Chaldeans to give you this land to inherit it. And he said, Lord God, how shall I know that I will inherit it? He said to him, Bring me a three-year-old heifer, a three-year-old female goat, a three-year-old ram, a turtle dove, and a young pigeon. Then he brought all these to him and cut them in two down the middle and place them in each piece opposite the other but he did not cut the birds in two and when the vultures came down on the carcasses Abram drove them away now when the sun was going down a deep sleep fell on Abram and behold horror and great darkness fell on him and he said then he said to Abram, Know certainly that your descendants will be strangers in the land, that this, not, this is not theirs, and will serve them, and they will afflict them four hundred years. And also the nation whom they serve I will judge. Afterward they shall come out with great possessions. Now, as for you... You shall go to your fathers in peace. You shall be buried at the good old age. But in the fourth generation they shall return here, for iniquity of the Amorites is not yet complete. And it came to pass, when the sun went down and it was dark, that, behold, there appeared a smoking oven and a burning torch that passed between those pieces. On the same day the Lord made a covenant with Abram, saying, To your descendants I have given this land, from the river of Egypt to the great river, the river Euphrates. The Canaanites, the Kenezites, and the Kedamonites, the Hittites, the Perizzites, and the Rephaim, the Amorites, the Canaanites, the Girgashites, and the Jebusites. Now Sarah, Abram's wife, had borne him no children, and she had an Egyptian maidservant whose name was Hagar. So Sarah said to Abram, See now that the Lord has restrained me from bearing children. Please go in to my maid. Perhaps I shall obtain children by her. And Abram heeded the voice of Sarah. Then Sarah, Abram's wife, took Hagar, her maid, the Egyptian, and gave her to her husband, Abram, to see his wife. Ab after Abram had dwelt 
ten years in the land of Canaan. So he went in to Hagar, and she conceived. And when she saw that she had conceived, her mistress came despised in her eyes. Then Sarah said to Abram, My wrong be upon you. I gave my maiden to your embrace, and when she saw that she had conceived, I became despised in her eyes. The Lord judge between you and me. So Abram said to Sarah, Indeed, your maid is in your hand. Do to her as you please. Then Sarah dealt harshly with her. She fled from her presence. Now the angel of the Lord found her by a spring of water in the wilderness, by the spring on the way to Shur. And he said to her, Hagar, Sarah's maid, where have you come from, and where are you going? She said, I am fleeing from the presence of my mistress, Sarah. And the angel of the Lord said to her, Return to your mistress, and submit yourself under her hand. Then the angel of the Lord said to her, I will multiply your descendants exceedingly, so that they shall not be counted for multitude. And the angel of the Lord said to her, Behold, you are with child, and you shall bear a son. You shall call his name Ishmael, because the Lord has heard your affliction. He shall be a wild man. His hand shall be against every man, and every man's hand against him. And he shall dwell in the presence of all his brethren. Then she called the name of the Lord who spoke to her. You are the God who sees. For she said, Have I also here seen him who sees me? Therefore the well was called Bir Lai Roy. Observe it is between Kadesh and Bered. So Hagar bore at Abram a son, and Abram named his son, whom Hagar bore Ishmael. Abram was eighty-six years old when Hagar bore Ishmael to Abram. When Abram was ninety-nine years old, the Lord appeared to Abram and said to him, I am Almighty God. Walk before me and be blameless. And I will make my covenant between me and you, and will multiply you exceedingly. Then Abram fell on his face, and God talked with him, saying, As for me, behold, my covenant is with you, and you shall be a father of many nations. No longer shall your name be called Abram, but your name be Abraham. For I have made you a father of many nations. I will make you exceedingly fruitful, and I will make nations of you, and kings shall come from you. And I will establish my covenant between me and you, and your descendants after you in their generations, for an everlasting covenant, to be God, to you and your descendants after you. Also, I give to you and your descendants after you in the land in which you are a stranger, all the land of Canaan, as an everlasting possession, and I will be their God. And God said to Abram, As for you, you shall keep my covenant, and you and your descendants after you throughout their generations. This is my covenant which you keep which you shall keep between me and you and your descendants after you every male child among you shall be circumcised and you shall be circumcised in the flesh of your foreskins and it shall be a sign of the covenant between me and you he who is 8 days old among you shall be circumcised every male child in your generations. He who is born of your house is or bought with money from any foreigner who is not your descendant. He who is born in your house 
and he who is bought with your money must be circumcised. And my covenant shall be in your flesh for your everlasting covenant. And an, an uncircumcised male child who is not circumcised in the flesh of his foreskin, that person shall be cut off from his people. He has broken my covenant. Then God said to Abraham, As for Sarah, as for Sarai, I, your wife, you shall not call her name Sarai, but Sarah shall be her name, and I will bless her and also give you a son by her. Then I will bless her, and she shall be a mother of nations. Kings of peoples shall be from her. Then Abram fell on his face and laughed and said in his heart, Shall a child be born to a man who is one hundred years old? And shall Sarah, who is ninety-nine years old, bear a child? And Abram said to God, Abraham said to God, O oh, that Ishmael might live before you. Then God said, No, Sarah your wife shall bear you a son, and you shall call his name Isaac. I will establish my covenant with him for an everlasting covenant, and with his descendants after him. And as for Ishmael, I have heard you. Behold, I have blessed him, and I will make him fruitful, and will multiply him exceedingly. He shall be get twelve princes, and I will make him a great nation. But my covenant will establish with Isaac, whom Sarah shall bear to you at this set time next year. Then he finished talking with him, and God went up from Abraham. So Abraham took Ishmael his son, all who were born in his house, and all who were bought with his money, every male among men of Abraham's house, and circumcised the flesh of their foreskins that very same day. As God had said to him, Abraham was ninety-nine years old when he was circumcised in the flesh of his foreskin, and Ishmael was the son of his thirteen years old when he was circumcised in the flesh of his foreskin. That very same day Abraham was circumcised in his son Ishmael, and all the men of his house were born in the house or bought with money from a foreigner were circumcised with him. So we're going to stop right there at Genesis chapter 18. Now, if you liked what you saw today, Go ahead and click that thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos. Let's go ahead and close in a word of prayer. Father, thank you, Lord, that we can come together to gather in your name, to worship and pray, to dwell on your word. Lord, thank you for all that you do in our lives, for all that you are. In your name, Father, in Jesus Christ we pray. Amen.